Today we are on Awaken with the Dragons. It is Monday the 17th of October and we have four dragon cards to read to you again today. Each week everything's evolving, everything's growing, we're all developing and um, each week I'm shown what the theme is. I ask like what's the theme, what's the theme coming up for me, therefore what's the global theme and um, this week the theme is all about we're meant to be doing this, we're meant to be evolving, we're meant to be moving into our creator self. This phase on the planet is purely here so that we can develop and grow out of our old existence and identity and that we can move into being this creator identity of who we came here to be. So you're right in the right place. This is about going back to who you are, your soul self, um, rather than having to do more and become more and prove yourself more. It's all about really going back to your soul self and then the lesson that I was given just again recently was like, just ask and listen. Just go back to your soul self. Really allow yourself to be listening to what your soul, your higher conscious is actually saying to you. And it just takes all the stress, all the anxiety and all the not knowing what's going on out of the play. So we're going back to your soul. This is the theme this week. We're going back to the soul. So all the cards today, are going to be going along with that particular essence, which is what the dragons are here to teach us anyway. How do you get back to the soul? How do you operate? How do you see with new eyes and hear with new ears and feel with a new heart when you're operating in your soul self? You'll commune with your soul. You'll ask questions and you'll get direct answers. Um, if I can thread a needle by asking my soul to help me because oh, I can't see the end of the needle or the thread, then this is the kind of thing that happens. You'll know how to commune with your soul anytime, anywhere, any place, Martini. <laughs> any place, anytime, anywhere, it's Martini. Um, you'll know how to ask a question, if you can trust this person, if you can trust the situation, if you get your yes and your no, if you, what's going on here? What do I need to learn from this? You'll be so much more aware when you're in your soul presence. Um, you'll know yourself as a soul and you'll have a relationship with your soul. This is what the dragons are here to teach us in the eight steps that they teach us. And each dragon, each of the eight dragons, each of the eight dragons have eight messages to give us specifically so that we are getting back into our soul self. We're not oblivious to that part. We're not oblivious to our intuition. We're not oblivious to the barometer of our body and what's running through us. Okay, so that's the theme. <laughs> no small matter there. Um, so the first dragon today is Sovereign. She is the purple dragon. And when you know that you're in your sovereignty, when you're communicating with this dragon i'm looking up at the eye in front of me you 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 just feel sovereign you feel it you feel you're in your soul energy it's like nothing can go wrong you are so strong in that particular energy so um i'm going to ask sovereign now what is it which card is it that you want me to read today three to do with the theme that we're talking about today about getting into your soul self so okay let's move into sovereign and let's find out what card number three all right so one of one of the things one of the messages that she wants to give us today and this one is entitled filter out keep clean your highest vibe your energy and your soul state so let's just see what the message is that's coming through from um sovereign today and this card by the way is card number three in her eight messages messages and 35 of the whole deck in total i say this because i put these these readings onto youtube as well so that people can actually pick up the card numbers and then when the deck of cards come out, you can hear a reading and you can hear something alive and you can feel how it's working with particular aspects of my life or your life or someone else's life. So the message that they want to get across, this is a long one, 
um, how, how that's actually working. How does it work in real terms? How does it work in practical terms? I'm all about practical magic. And how does this work practically? How do I use this practically? Because uh, we're here um, trying to be very practical with our lives and money, being mums, raising kids, driving cars, going to work, all the rest of it. So filter out, keep clean your highest vibe energy and soul state. It's time to actively attend to your energy filter. Just as you wash your hair regularly, your energy requires a thorough clean and reset frequently. Your personal filter surrounds you and acts as an energetic boundary and can and does get clogged. Think of that. It can eventually break down from the steady stream of being bombarded and even penetrate by less desirable energy from people, places and your environment. I know you get that. It's like a filter. We've talked about it before, this bubble that you live in. It's the filter that goes on around you. And if that's not clean, one, it gets clogged up with all the kind of messy stuff that goes on in your life. Or you can just pick up because you're empathic what's going on in other people's lives and you pick it up. You start eating crazily or drinking crazily or sleeping crazily. So we need to keep that energy clean. This is what they're asking us to do. Outside influences have been penetrating your filter and getting to your core, affecting your intuition, your mental clarity, your physical health and wearing you down. It's time to cleanse so that you can efficiently, effectively filter out and adjust your settings to decide what's in and what's out. So you set the settings on the inside, you decide what you want to let in and what you want to let out. You are a receiver and a transmitter and a living energy being that has a filter that acts in your best interests. But if you don't tell the filter what you need, if you don't tell you what soul what you need, everything's going to be able to get in. We don't want that. Imagine that you can see yourself with a thin, thin membrane going around your body and even encompasses your aura. This is a good and safe way to protect Project out all your positive soul energy, how you see through your soul, your soul th thoughts, your curiosity about the world, and radiate safely who you really, really are. Boom. This thin membrane is like a living jelly and feels when it's adjusted for you to be impenetrable and protective. Within this filter membrane, you are in your best energy and you are the alpha, the sovereign. You feel strong, powerful and have certainty. <laughs> the filter can be in any colour you want to imagine it to be, maybe even a rainbow colour or a purple colour. You can really feel into the vision of this filter and imagine you are safe inside your soul's energy, inside your soul's protective care, under her wing. Supported, clear thinking, observant, you're observant like a ninja. You're sensitive and be able to pick up the slightest movement, acutely aware of your surroundings, yet phenomenally strong. When you are fully charged and have this membrane around you, you can walk through your day and feel the love that your soul has for you. You feel gifted and abundant. You feel strong and the criticisms and judgments of others easily get caught in the filter and membrane, this jelly. And it's um, these, it's these that require washing off on a regular basis to live another day that you get protected. You're living in the in energetic boundary. You're living inside your soul's energetic boundary that you have set up. You've decided it's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be great people in there. There's going to be lovely opportunities. I'm going to feel love. I'm going to feel connected with people. What do you want inside your bubble? Let me know what you want inside your bubble, by the way. Um, it always helps when you hear someone else talking about what it is that they want. Sometimes we get squirreled up because we don't really know what's available. What, what, can, what do I want? <laughs> you are, however, needed to attend to this filter and clear your filter frequently, especially when you're around others who trigger you bring you down and disconnect you from your soul. Quality time in nature is the best and the easiest way as nature naturally absorbs the dense grime and sludge like energy that builds up and gets stuck on this membrane filters around you. 
Um, if you're feeling tired, exhausted, narky, irritable, usually it's because your filter's murky. You can take time to place your bare feet on the earth or swim in the fresh water streams or in the sea. Open your channels to meditation when you are in nature. Choose to detox your body and mind and listen to what the home of your soul desires the most. Take pleasure in wearing crystals, bathe and infused in the moonlight, moonlight, moonlight. They assist your filtering membrane. Um, you will come to know when you are in need of an energy bath or a shower, when you feel low, when you feel confused, when you can't settle or focus, you will become more and more attentive to how you feel and allergic to these lower states that have clogged your sensitive filter. Um, I'm remembering someone showing me their whole routine of what they do before they go into work, before they do something. I myself, because I'm speaking to my soul on a daily basis, morning, once in the morning and then in the afternoon, like what is it that we're doing today? But before I always go into my neutral, my safe place to then have a communication with her. Imagine yourself in this powerful state of having no need for any protective boundaries because you are so high on your own energy supply and so full of your best feelings. Those feelings of being the alpha and the sovereign within your own energy and guarded and attending to you at all times. When you have the biggest, strongest energy in the room. There's um, this kind of um, physical states that you can do that as well. It's just like, God, just like, you know that winning state that you have, like, I feel triumphant, I just feel awesome. <sighs> when you're in that state, that is, that's is a great way to know that, um, that you feel great and that you are being protected and you're being looked after and you're in your sovereign state. It's like, yeah, nobody can be higher than that. So that was sovereign, that's the purple. Can you see there the link, the theme that I asked for today? The theme that we're meant to be here on this planet, evolving, developing, and moving more and more, and coming more and more from our soul state, coming from that state. Now, this is what the dragons are here to teach us. And this is what they want more than anything else. Um, and this is what they asked me to put to, again, uh, a program that I did probably about over a year ago now. It's a 30-day incubator. And now this one's going to run from the 15th of November to the 15th of December. And this is a daily soul contact and connection so that you're actually going to get profound insights into your soul self, your soul character. You will meet your soul. You will have an opportunity to ask questions and get answers. And I'm going to be doing this for um, 30 days because it's such a beautiful journey. And then after I did it last time, it was so profound. And I'm still in touch with all these ladies now and the profound journey that they had. And then it came to me last weekend, it's time to do it again, Fiona. So I'm doing that again. And this is going to be from the 15th of November to the 15th of December. They give me the dates. So this is a very high energetic time, end of the year, setting new goals. But we're going to be getting back into our soul selves. I truly, truly, truly believe um, the journey that I've been on since I've been connected with my soul has, has just, it, I'm just so blessed being able to create houses and do all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff, create businesses, get books downloaded, ask questions and get answers. And because I'm in this soulful state and this is what I'm here to teach and this is what I'm here to help you have an experience of. Um, and that's just who I am. I just want you to connect so that you too can have all of that joy and all of that fun um, and know how to do it anywhere, anytime any place. <laughs> the second dragon that we're reading today is Bloom. She's the pink dragon and she very much is about um, intensifying your feelings, really feeling into your feelings. Um, so we're going to be asking her today, she's given me six, number six, um, we're going to be asking her today which card she wants us to read, she's already told me number six, that is really going to be along the lines of the theme of how you get into your, your soul self, how it's important for her to tell you what that's all about. So which card? She said number six. Let's go back 
two, six. All right, perfect. Um, no, so all all these lessons that the dragons teach, I have been doing for um, for the last eight years, um, and of course I'm still developing, and I'm still, I'm, you know, one of the things I do when I'm really conscious about my next um, evolvement is that I paint one of my fingernails in, only for the fact that it just helps me remind me oh like oh right okay so what would Roma is the name of my soul this is how we talk to each other constantly through the day um all right yeah okay so what you know what should we be doing what's coming next what would you really like to eat everything she's she's just so much part of my life so this card today is number 46 from Bloom this is along the lines and theme of we're meant to be doing this, we're meant to be developing and growing out of our existence and growing into, um, growing up and growing into our soul self. I can hear my son calling me. Anyway, um, I'm sure he'll <laughs> figure it out. Um, so number six is um, card number 46 from the whole pack. This is set up your day to be in the best possible experience. So this is what she wants to tell you. This is Bloom speaking. You currently live your day with your mind. When you set up your day, you live your dream at the forefront, with that at your forefront of your mind, in your essence. And then from every single angle of your day, you're aware of how you want to feel who you want to meet. In other words, it's like, what do you have put into your bubble? Who you want to meet, how you want to feel, where you want to go, kind of experiences you want to have. Set yourself up to focus your dream day. So we're not going to be oblivious about this. We're really going to get your soul to come through in every single aspect of this. As big as that is, a lot will never grasp a hold of that simple step to understand this aspect but you do. And now you have to start somewhere. It's a complete turnaround from where you think you need to do things and you need to get things done and you need to get what you want. Being able to set up your own day, staying in the best possible energy with the best possible intentions, your best ideas, and being very conscious of what is around your environment as to what's running through you. Who's running the show? All put there by the spirituals for you to notice, being able to feel what's right for you, what's not right for you. You set up your day and you trust that. Dutifully cleansing your energy throughout the day, breathing with intention, going outside in nature. Gosh, it's just so clear, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's the card that we had before, going out in nature so that you continue to still have the energy at the end of the day to be most productive and having still the most ease and the most fun that you put out there as your intention earlier on. This is a complete change for what you want to get out of your day, how to approach your day, how to take care of yourself throughout the day. This is the ultimate aim so that you can be conscious all day. You are not alone in that you, so many have shut down your consciousness, your awareness, because it was just too much to deal with. On the contrary, it's less to deal with. When you have set up your day, then with the most amount of force and energy, rules, regulations, and not being able to trust people and things going wrong, it's because there is no clear setup or intention to your day. You've just rolled out of bed and kind of, oh, What's going to happen today then? When your day is set up and you are in the right energy and things are aligned and flowing, using the words that you really like to use, which explain the process of how you feel, but don't actually explain what you're doing or how you're doing it. It's more about the sensations. Bloom then is all about the sensations, the intense feelings that you have during the day. You want to be able to explain how you feel in the doing of it. And once you feel the difference in your heart rejoicing, the essence you want to extract from your day, 
then every single day from then on will be an energy, I just got an electric day, an energetic day, a euphoric day. The day is set up with an outcome you want to experience. I hope you're getting that. I hope that you're getting this card number 46 from Blue, all about how you set up your day not being, again, this word oblivious coming through, not being oblivious to what it is you want in your day, what it is that your your intention is for your day, for your morning, for your afternoon. Like, what is it that we want today? Um, and just reel it off, just reel it off. You know, the kind of people that you want to meet, the kind of calls you want to have, the kind of resolutions you want to have that just sort of like keep pinging on your phone. Not yet, got that sorted. Yeah, that's not a problem for us anymore. So um, this is all about being soul connected and in allowing your soul to come through and purposely be part of your day. Every single part of your day, she gets to be involved with you. You don't ask her permission. She doesn't ask your permission. It's just like, what would we like to do today? What would we follow the flow? You follow what feels really, really good. And the best experiences I ever had was when I was traveling and I just think, oh, what do I want tomorrow? Oh, I really like to meet someone who's driving down this part of Australia and be part of their little convoy and be part of their, their club, you know, like, and it's just so much fun to be traveling with other people. Next day, some guy was trying to fill his car up and there was three cars going down the west coast of Australia. And it was just so much more fun. So you create these things by deciding what it is that you want and how these things come about. Right, number three, we're going to talk to Ceremony now. Ceremony, we're looking for the card um, that's going to show us the, the theme today, which is get back into your soul, get it back into who you really are, rather, th rather than becoming more. So the card that's really, okay, fine. The card that really is going to talk to us about how we evolve and grow. She's saying yes, definitely five. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, so card number five, infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities is the card from Ceremony. Ceremony is the rainbow dragon and she represents this stage in your, in your growing up, this stage in your growing out of your existence, your mundane existence, your um gray <laughs> shades of gray like boring and dull and you know just like just accepting what life's throwing at you she represents the rainbow she's the rainbow color she's wanting to celebrate how far you've come look at all the things that you've done that it has allowed you to come here and to be who you are and um she really wants you to understand that you're at the edge of the rainbow now Look at how far you've come. You're at the edge of the rainbow. Your soul connected. You're asking for assistance. You're getting so much more information fed back to you. Um, there's just so much more to be had from here. You're ready to leap without a safety net. And you trust. You trust your soul more and more and more. Your soul self is always... Oh, well, here we are. Is always there to serve you. Right, I was choosing the wrong one there. So, uh, card number five, which is card number 53 of the whole pack, which, you know, during the holidays, I'm going to just spend a whole week and I'm going to put them all on this application and we're going to get these cards printed so that you can actually go ahead and get them. Um, <laughs> it's just a shame that it just takes so long. So this is infinite possibilities. You are under the illusion that you can somehow control and quantify the situation or person. Gosh, we've had this one several times. She really wants to make this point here. It's strange for us spirituals that people still want to quantify how much there is of something to measure and count when really everything is changing. Yeah. Um, still growing and still evolving. And it is infinite, right? That's where, why it's coming through because it's still growing. It's still evolving and it's infinite. This time on this planet, which is meant to be this transition between 3D and 5D, however you want to explain it, the new paradigm, is all about the fact that we are developing and growing, growing out of our existence, our current identity, and how we're taking on this soul identity. We're seeing through the eyes of the soul, 
we're feeling through the through the through the heart of the soul and we're hearing we're listening to the message that is the messages that are coming through <laughs> things are changing all the time the world is changing the planet is changing population are evolving and such new things come along all the time that science cannot understand um I was looking at Bruce Lipton over the weekend about, you know, this thing that I talk about with cellular memory as well. It totally is. But of course, science can't catch up with that because it just doesn't make any sense. It's like, how do you know that? <laughs> OK, so the next stage in human development, mind, body and soul is soon to be considered normal to have psychic abilities to use your intuition. This is commonplace. You are all using your intuition and this is why so many of us are empathic and we're picking up the grime and the dirt and the the heaviness of the thoughts of other people and the feelings of other people and this is why sometimes we just need to keep on washing our own energy it may well be that when somebody said something and you felt it um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it still has to be there. You can let that energy pass all the way through you or just go around the outside of the bubble. You're consciously aware of it, but you don't need to take it in. You don't need to hold it, wear it and keep it and keep it guard all the rest of the time. Education and proof of something at one point in time does not mean it continues forever in the same way, on the same trajectory. You're trying to draw theory in a world that is untangible. Fantasy, dreams, creativity, imagination, childhood feelings, excitement, wonder, all with so much colour. The population is evolving. You're evolving. You're not meant to stay the same. You're meant to grow out of it. You're meant to grow up. You're meant to take this on on another level. Try not to get stuck in what you heard and what you learned. Learned Where you were made to believe as magic is everywhere and sometimes our people are that you least imagine can actually do the unimaginable. This is one of the favorite phrases that I've got written on a chalkboard in my kitchen because I don't want any of the boys in the house to believe that the, you're only as good as your education. This was something that stilted me for a long time. Um, but I think sometimes the people who are uneducated are more in line with their intuition, which means that they're freer, freer thinkers, you know, they're more creative with their thinking. <laughs> um, you know you're here to adapt and not staying the same as the generations that went before you. The possibilities are infinite. Inventions, new discoveries are everywhere. People do jobs that did not exist in previous generations. People are running and breaking previously unheard barriers. Magic is everywhere. Your mind can and will take you there. Altered states of genius mind. Um, we are naturally use more of the mind in very special and specific ways. This is all about infinite possibilities and there are infinite possibilities. Something that I was being shown just recently at the weekend to do with this stop and listen, ask the question, stop, ask your question and listen, really has everything to do with being original, being new. So that needs to be added in there. You can't go back and do things the way that other people were doing them before you. If you're here with gifts, if you're here with um, specific um, messages and those kind of things, you can't do it the way that someone else did it. You have to do it the way that you are being shown. And this is where your soul comes in and really helps you to understand what you're here for, but how to do it, you know? So um, it's not about oh, well, I'm going to use um, Facebook and social media and I'm going to use all these ways to do it because your soul will bring you the best way to do it. It could be a podcast. It could be a retreat. It could be talk about radio. It could be um, writing a book about it, all your beliefs and all your experiences. It's, it's, your, it's your message in the way that you tell it. You know that people have to hear things like a thousand times before these things actually sink in. They need a different voice to hear it from in a different way, a more playful way. Um, some people need all the nitty gritty. Um, some people need to feel it. They really need to sort of understand the feeling of it. That's why I'm doing this 30 day incubator so that you can actually feel your soul, so that you can actually feel and understand what's going on there. So between the 15th of November and the 15th of December, you'll be able to have soul contact, daily connection, 
And it's a profound way to actually see yourself through the eyes of the soul. And it provides so many solutions and resolutions for you. Um, just for this week, it's um, 64 euros. And then after this week, it will be 164 euros. So if you want to come in, if you want to talk to your soul and you want to know who she is, how you are, what her name is, um, how you're to go about doing things, how to do readings comes after that. How you can use your own innate feminine wiles, your instinct to get readings for yourself, how you ask questions, basically. So that's all happening on the 15th of November. Now card number five. We have the grey, the beautiful, beautiful, handsome, very wise grey Raphael. So Raphael, on the on the theme for today. Oh, six. Let's just double check that. On the theme for today, with you're evolving, you're a soul. Get back to your soul. You don't have to do more. You are a soul. Yeah, he says six is fine. Raphael is like a. Um, He's like your favourite professor. He wants details. He's teaching you to sort of go further than just say, it's a nice day. He's teaching you to really get into the details of what it, what your soul needs so that she can start bringing forward, forward for you what you want to manifest. Art and the inner artist. Another long one. Art and the inner artist. This is from Raphael. This is Raphael speaking to you. You are being asked to take time to paint the picture for us. Paint the picture in the colours and the details for us. Let us see what it is, what it feels like in your body. So they listen to the vibration, the frequency in your body. That's their story. That's their notes. That's their instructions what it feels like in your body, in your chest, in your solar plexus, up into your throat, in your whole body, the tingling. Let us know how it tingles with excitement when you, when this piece of art is delivered, this passion of yours, what does it, how is it represented? Sadly, so says Raphael, we are left <laughs> standing twiddling our dragon thumbs because you are not giving us any detail whatsoever. Not just you, but 99.9% .9 of the whole population fall very short in their requests, in their asks, in their demands. We dragons, as a whole collective, there is a whole army of us here waiting to deliver and there is no destination, no charts, no dates, no maps, no colours, no frequencies that we can read. If you have ever played with creating a piece of art, you know it's practice every day he, heading towards the big tapestry, working on that big canvas that you and only you have seen in your mind's eye. But you can't get it out of your mind's eye unless you give it some more colour and some more detail. You write it, you draw it, you talk about it. Otherwise, it's just going to stay in your mind's eye. Just imagine, it's just, it's just in there, somewhere in there. You're heading towards the big piece of art that you want to create and every day keeping yourself on track with the finishing touches to your creative piece in your imagination. Trusting and feeling certain of the outcome because you have seen it and lived it all from inside your mind's eye. You know that it can be done, that it will be done, it will be done on earth as it is in heaven, because you have seen it and imagined it. And now you are acting in response to your next inspired step. Your next inspired step comes directly from your soul when you ask, what's my part in this? What am I to be doing today to make this come to fruition, this piece of art, being able to hang it onto my wall, for me to be able to touch it and feel it and live in this piece of art. The practice of any creation in art form and of itself Whatever your dream creation and piece of art is that is coming through you, there are ways to strengthen the bond to that creation with your actions. You write your creation unfolds on the page. 
the description of the process and the detail of the finishing piece. You find yourself talking out loud about your creation and that it can be done. It's coming together, describing to yourself what exactly you want, how you feel extraordinarily good to see it come into fruition. You doodle, you draw your creation and each time add in more and more detail, more colors and more shading, maybe accepting that it turns out far better than you ever imagined it would. Often what you get is far better than you ever said you wanted. When the art you are creating in this world, writing freehand can tap into the sensations. Free thoughts are uncensored, unjudged, and journaling is a great way to open up a stream of movement to cut you loose, allowing you to see and to feel what it is that you want to create. Bring that into life and show the soul and the spirituals what to deliver to you. Journaling is a great way to do that when you are in your neutral space. Another great way of doing what I do is I have these rampages when I'm driving in the car, right, Roma? What, Roma, because she's the name of my soul. What are we heading towards? What was all this about? Wow, that feels better. Maybe if we do some imagination, you know, we can pretend we're driving there already and this has already happened. There's a like 15 minutes of storytelling that I do in the car, which brings your creation so much stronger and quicker towards you when you're journaling it, when you're talking about it. When you use your voice, which is your highest way of creating, singing it or poetry, reading it out loud or just talking it out loud, that is your very strongest way of getting into the feeling of it. Writing's kind of good, it's only like 90% there or 80% there, but talking about it is like 100%. Um, when you start to live this way, and often enough, it's like you believe you can feel you are living in that exact fantasy, like when I'm driving, oh, I'm driving to the airport, I'm picking this person up, that kind of thing. This is your art form in the energy state and infused in your art and creative writing or drawing or talking. You are using your voice and stretching your imagination by doing this and you have created your own dream, your own film. The more times you feel it, the more times you can believe it, the more times you will discover the evidence of your creation, it getting closer and closer and closer. This is an exercise that works perfectly for you to discover yourself as the artist, to be very intricate and patient with it <laughs> and what you want to create. It is weaving your dream. That was card number 22 from Raphael, who very, very sweetly and patiently is telling you, colour it in, shade it, take it out, look at it again, doodle it, make, draw it again, paint it again, talk about it again. Just make sure you're always talking about it as if it's already here. These are all the ways that the dragons are really helping us to get back to who you really are, rather than having to do more in order to get what you want. It's not a question of doing more. It's actually just a question about getting back to who you really are. Um, you get to know yourself as a soul and you have an intimate relationship with your soul. On this um, incubator that I'm running, you meet your soul. You get to know your soul. You get to know, oh, that, that was my soul showing me that, wasn't it? That was my soul intervening. That's what that was all about. This is what this 30-day incubator is all about. 15th of November to the 15th of December, I will be here and it'll be a profound connection and contact with your soul so that you can ask questions and you can get guidance so that you can feel your body as a barometer so that you can start working in the direction that you're supposed to be going and working from your creative uh, creative aspect rather than working from your wound or working from um, some of those pesky thoughts that are in the back of your head in your subconscious that you're not aware of will also be clearing out some of those as well as we go along. Um, you see my little sign that said, happy soul on air. And hopefully that's what we all are, a happy soul on air. Right, these readings normally go on for about 30 minutes. So hopefully you will pick your card and you'll get to know what your card is telling you. Usually all of the cards, because it's to do with a the theme, all of the cards are telling you exactly what you need to hear. 
Um, so listen to all of them. You'll, you'll learn so much by listening to them. Please let me know what it is that you're creating. Let me know what it is that you want instead of what you have. And um, we can read into those. We can see where the energy is for the, what you want and where you are, and we can gauge that all the time. This is what the 30 day incubator is all about as well, so that we can really, really get close and intimate with what it is that we're trying to create and what isn't coming through, because often what's not coming through is something that we're focusing on. We don't even know that we're focusing on it, but when we bring it up in this particular portal, we're able to see, hear and smell. I had this smell in my, for the last two weeks, I've had this smell, which was teaching me something as well. You, your soul is always trying to show you what you can wash away, what you can grow out of. So let's get us all back into our soul so that we can just move forward and have an easier life and start to manifest what we actually want to manifest. Have a great day. My name is Fiona Robertson. I'm here to help you have a very, very strong, intimate, profound relationship with yourself, with your inner self, which is defined as your soul. Just so that you are awake, you are conscious and you can run your business, you can earn money, you can have the love that you want and you can be in the body housing your soul that feels 100% alive. Have a great week.